using JNL cuts within your editing might sound a bit complex, but chances are you've probably used or seen them before without even thinking about it. They simply refer to the pattern of audio and video clips on your timeline that look like a J or an L. Having a greater understanding of how they can be used to enhance your story will help you become more purposeful in your editing. So let's dive in. Here we have two clips on the timeline, which we can see have both video and audio attached. If we play one after the other, we will hear and see clip one before hearing and seeing clip two, like this. However, there are some scenarios in which you might want the audio of a clip to start before or after the video starts, giving the flow of your clip a different feel as your story unfolds. You can see here that if I were to detach the audio from one of the clips, say this second one, by triple tapping on it or selecting and tapping the detach audio icon, now I can control the length of my audio separately from the video. By dragging the video of clip two to the right like this, now the synced audio of that clip will play before the video. This makes my J cut. You can see that shape here. Alternatively, if I were to detach the audio of clip one and drag the video to the left, now I will see the video of clip two start to play before the audio of clip one ends. This makes my L cut. Let's put these side by side to compare. I have my J cut and my L cut. Many editors call them split edits, used to mix up the flow of clips and ensure shot sequences are not static. They even help storytellers evoke emotion. For example, J cuts are great for creating urgency or anticipation in your video as audiences can hear what's to come but are still watching the current scene. L cuts are great for making a scene linger on and are often used in montages or news packages where, for example, we want to see clips over somebody explaining something or the action taking place. <laughs> so there's many ways to use split edits. As you get comfortable with using them, you might like to play around with the volume of your audio, perhaps adding a fade to make the split edit less harsh or even detaching the audio of both clips to have greater control over the start and end times of both clips. Have fun with this experiment and next time you're watching your favourite film or TV show, listen out for how J and L cuts are used to help you stay gripped to the story.